right welcome in this lesson we are gonna start developing our application I'm just gonna go ahead and create an account for myself click on register and I'm in so what we want is when logged in users come to the application what's gonna happen is they're gonna see a list of channels on the left and then a list of discussions on the right and then they can participate and this list of channels is gonna be on all pages right so what we are gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to share data to all of your views and what this means is if you have a piece of data that you want to appear on all of your pages there's no need to return it on all pages like if you come to your welcome or your home controller and you want to return the channels you're gonna have to come right here and say with channels right and if you have the channels on all pages you can't do this in all of your controllers so there's a way to share data to all views and this is what I'm gonna show you first you want to go into this providers folder and go into the app service provider and this is where you can declare what you want to share so the app service provider don't worry we haven't talked about providers yet in the application but providers basically give specific services to application for example we have the auth service provider which is in charge of authentication we have event service provider which is in charge of events in our application and so on so in the boot method we can declare what we want to boot up after the application has been loaded okay here we can register application services but here we can boot whatever we want in application for example we can register data that should be shared with all views i'm just going to show you so here i'm just going to say view and this is the view facet so you can see right here illuminate support facets view and this is going to help us with a share method and what it does is it takes a key and this is going to be channels and it takes a value so for example let me just show you right here i'm just going to pass a value of channels right here and i'm just going to say name is channel one okay which means that this array is going to be available in our application so let's go to our app.blade.php which is our layouts file right here and what we're going to do is i'm just going to come right down here to where we have the main and i'm just going to have a check so i'm going to say auth else and auth so if the user is authenticated then we are going to have a different template but if the user is not authenticated then this is what we're going to have just to yield the content but if the user is authenticated we are going to be yielding the content but we are also going to have a navigation menu so i'm just going to have an unordered list the list group and then here we're going to have the list of channels so i'm just going to do this channels and notice that this is in the layouts file so if i refresh this page great you can see that it didn't tell us that the channels variable is not defined it told us that we are trying to display an array so we can go ahead and use a for each to display all of the elements of the array but that's not a concern for now so let me just show you right here instead of passing an array let me just pass in channel one and if i refresh you can see we have channel one right here okay which means that this data is being successfully shared with this view if i come to my provider and i disable this line by commenting it out if i refresh you can see it tells us on define variable channel which means that this method is cleanly helping us to share data with our view now what we want to do in this case is get the channel model which is from level form channel namespace and we'll get all so if you come right here you can see channel model has been imported so you can see view share channel and we have channel all okay so if i refresh you can see we have a list of all the channels right here and this is what we are going to use to actually display the list of channels that the user will see so in my app.blade.php i'm gonna come here and i'm doing i'm gonna have a for each channels as channel and for each and then i'm gonna have a list item dot list group item and here i'm gonna print out channel name 
and if i refresh this page great you can see we have the unordered list right there but it doesn't look very pretty so let's just go ahead and format it so we want to make sure that this is divided into a row so i'm just going to have a row and and this is going to have the call mz4 and i'll paste that on other list right there and this is going to have a call mz8 and i'm going to yield the content in there awesome so if i refresh great that's divided but we probably want to wrap this in a container so i'm just going to give this a container class okay and if i refresh great but the home page has changed so if i go to the home.blade.php you can see it also has its own container so what we want to do is make sure it has only a card so that it spans the full width of the column mg8 class that we give it refresh awesome so we have a list of channels on the left and we have a list of discussions right here now this is what i want you to master remember to share data you need to just fetch channel all right here and it's going to share the channels key to all of the views so all of the views you have in your application are going to have these channels variable okay now the next thing we want to do in this application is create a view for adding discussions okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to go to the home.blade.php resources views home and at the top we want to have a button that says add discussion so we're going to have a flex div and this is going to justify content and and here i'm just going to have a button or actually an a dot button dot button success and here i'm just going to say add discussion okay so if i refresh we have our add discussion button right here hmm we are supposed to float it to the end and the name of that class is actually z flex and we're just going to give this a margin of bottom two so if i come back to my browser refresh great so that's our add discussion button so we are going to come to our web.php and we are going to register a resource route so routes resource for discussions and this is going to go to a discussions controller so discussions controller so let's go ahead and create that controller add make controller discussions controller and i'm just going to make this a resource controller awesome so if we go to the discussions controller you can see we have our index just all of the methods that we expect for a resource okay so what we could do right now is go to our home.blade.php and link this to the route for creating a discussion so this is going to go to discussions dot create okay then we can go to our discussions controller and the create method and would we'll return a view called discussions dot create and this is going to help us with the template for creating a discussion so in our resources views folder i'm going to have a folder called discussions and in here i'm going to have a create dot blade dot php and since it's going to have almost the same template as the home i'm just going to copy it and paste it right there but i want to delete this add discussion button and here i'm gonna have add discussion as the title of the card okay so we don't need this text right here so let's just go ahead and load that view to see what we get we have discussions.create not defined it looks like the route is not defined so how do we debug that we need to run add route list to check out a list of our routes okay so if we check out a list of our routes you can see we have discussion.create not discussions.create so that's how we debug application okay so i'm gonna come to my home and make sure this is discussion awesome so if i refresh great if i click on add discussion you can see we have the add discussion right here so for this lesson i'm just gonna create this form real quick so here i'm gonna have a form 
and then the action is going to be the route for storing a discussion so i'm gonna have discussion dot store okay and i'm gonna have my csrf token and i'm gonna have a form group and i'm gonna have a label for title and this is going to be title and here i'm gonna have an input dot form control and the type is going to be text the name is going to be title okay and the value is going to be empty string and we're gonna talk about this value right here so if i refresh yeah this is supposed to be in the template for a discussion okay so i'm just gonna undo these changes undo these changes real quick make sure this is still the dashboard and then in the create.blade.php we want to paste that form right there okay so if i refresh right now great we have our title and then we also want one for our content so i'm gonna add it right there so dot form group and then label is going to be for content this is going to say content and the text area dot form control is going to have name of content id of content five columns and five rows and finally we are also going to have one for selecting a channel so i'm going to have form group and we're going to have a label for channel this is going to be channel and finally a select dot form control named channel and the id is going to be channel and here we are going to loop through each of the channels that we have and remember since we shared this with all views the channel is also available in this view so for each of the channel as channel and for each we are going to have an option right here and this options value is going to be the channel id so channel id And here we're going to print out the channel name so channel name like that okay so if i come back to my application give this a refresh you can see we have title content and a list of channels right there so that we can select which specific channel this discussion is going to be for finally let's just go ahead and add a submit button so we have button that button that button success and this is going to say create discussion okay and the type is going to be submit and if we refresh that page great we have a button right there and now it does nothing yet awesome in the next lesson we are going to continue with the process of creating our discussion we'll save it directly to the database